Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> so this is the evening of December uh, 12, 2008 in the uh, one of the apartments in Simandar City and we have Bharat. Bharat. Hi Bharat. Okay. Jai Sachidan. Yes. Jai Sachidan. Yes. yes. So, so, so tell us about your experiences since you have arrived here. Since I have arrived here, well, as Feather um, was telling you, we, uh, we arrived in the evening and uh, immediately we were taken to the guest house mm. that is here and, and already you can feel that the people coming and taking care of us and arranging the room were, um, were like exceptionally nice going and bringing us sandwiches and do we need this, do we need that. And the next morning they took us to the temple uh, where there was a celebration going on of um, uh, Nimala's, bir Nimala? Nirumas, Nirumas. Nirumas birthday. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, yeah, so you walk in and immediately I can feel this divine energy, or, uh, alive grace, or whatever you want to call it is there and then, you know, there's this group of people who seem very um, affluent and uh, were very well dressed and, and they had this beautiful temple with very marble, and marble floors and marble, huge marble statue and, and, <laughs> and they're chanting this uh, chant and they're really, everybody's really into it and they're really together and really one and um, and it was very, very beautiful, and I could just feel the, the aliveness. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that I, you know, being in others, living in other spiritual communities, being with other masters, um, it was, it was, it was, it was it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there's no, no question, of, question for me um, about the authenticity of of, of Samantha, Samantha City. Um, yeah, so then we just spent the, the next days um, being at the temple, meeting with people, and and just realizing how how much love there is here, how how loving the people are, and how sincere people are. It's like something that um, I haven't experienced before as in a community. It seemed like really the community was living. The teachings, there were, and there was nothing phony about it. It was, it was just totally sincere. People were inviting us into the house for tea um, everywhere we went, and and it was just even if he didn't, it was just in the atmosphere. Um, mm -hmm. This feather was saying, "Well, the atoms is of no violence," uh, which is very, 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 very true. And, and for me, well, the reason I came here, because I was with the master uh, before, who in his presence I was able to experience the self on a very, very deep level. Uh, but he never was concerned about your personality afterwards or what you were doing with your life or how you were living your life. He wasn't concerned about that. Mm -hmm. And. Um, he would just let you live his life, even though you had the experience of self. And uh, recently I was just feeling, you know, th that I was feeling energies that were like heavily charged, like I was waking up in the middle of the night feeling anxiety, feeling fear. And of course I would wake up and what I started to do in the last months, because it, got, it was starting to get very heavy, I was going, I am Brahman, I am Brahman, I am Brahman, I am mm -hmm. Brahman. Mm -hmm. I was just in existence, consciousness, consciousness, bliss, mm -hmm. and but I was going, and of course then it would disappear. But I was feeling like, no, this uh, there's too much heavy charge around me, and there's too many people around that I have heavy uh, relationships with, and it just felt I felt the suffering of it, and I felt the burning of it, and I uh, so when I heard about the neon video, I said okay, something said just said okay. Uh, I will come here and um, and see what was going to happen. Even though I knew it, I, I mean, it's like the self brought me here. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. And um, and the people that I met and the satsangs we had with Deepak uh, Bai and with Dimple Bai and uh, 
the view of Rundine, <laughs> you know, uh, and a um, few others. Uh, just see the sincerity of the of their knowledge and of their experience and their love, of the genuine wanting to just uh, not even wanting to spread it, but just just being in it and just sharing sharing their experience and, and this really uh, touches me very very deeply here um, um, every day I'm quite amazed and uh, and everything has changed my dreams have changed uh, this waking up in the middle of the night with anxiety has almost disappeared uh, and I start to do the the, uh, the suggestions of how how to um, decrease the charge, the karmic charge of like, because I've always had a problem like forgiving people. I'm coming from a tradition of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and if somebody hurts me, I'm gonna, <laughs> somewhere I have to get revenge, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm just the suffering of that. Mm -hmm. And now in this place, you're learning how to to get rid of that charge, how to turn the other cheek, mm -hmm. how how to how to decrease that, and, and and even though they're saying that it's only for the next life, I'm already feeling it in this life. I already feel the charge is really mm -hmm. less since I've been doing the pratikraman. Pratikraman. Yeah. Since I've been doing that, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I already feel it. It's less, and I just feel between. Um, you know, my partner Feather, we you know, we haven't had a fight since we've been here. <laughs> so it's like, uh, and we're just really consciously, conscientiously, um, and I want to, want to be peaceful, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And now uh, through Dada um, Bhagwan uh, and his his methods and his suggestions, uh, I feel that's something that, that is, um, is is possible. It feels really possible. And uh, when you're reading his words, most of his words, it's just total, uh, yes, this is the way it is. It really feels like it's, uh, it's really coming from a deep source, source of truth. Mm -hmm. um, it is, yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And now I'm wondering whether I should actually leave or not. <laughs> so, because it does, it does really feel like uh, it's such a loving environment. That who wants to leave and who wants to be in anything? Why should it be any other, any different than the way it's being uh, here? Yeah. And in our next segment, we're going to come to Simander Swami and your particular darshan with him today. Uh, so we will talk about that. Um. Oh, 